Good morning, everybody. It's a sad day. Sadness abounds here on my mountain. I think I'm going to call it Eagle's Nest. Uh, Jamie just came and took my skid steer. He needs it on another job. But sadness abounds because I'm not done. But I did accomplish an awful lot. So look, look at here. So down there, well, you can't see it really right now, but I've created a mountain of a hill going down. I'm going to grade that eventually and plant wildflower or clover or something. I don't know yet. <clears throat> Make it look pretty. But look at here. My driveway is just about in. Um, let's see. You can kind of see my markers there. So that's the rear corner of the garage, the front corner of the garage, and then the other front corner of the garage. That's 40 by 40. And uh, so that's a 40 foot wide right here driveway. And there's a 10% grade coming up. I measured it yesterday, and that's a 10% grade there. So at least we don't have a grade change. So thankfully, because I pushed it back so much further. Because originally, it was a lot closer to the driveway, which I really didn't want. But uh, it was so crowded back there with overgrowth and everything. It was hard to get back there. And that would have had me a really steep driveway here. So, and... Probably the width of the viewfinder right here, that was all that dirt, that high. But this whole section right here, I took out. And I did that in just a couple of few days, I think maybe three days, and uh, built out over there and did a whole bunch, did all this in just a few days. Whereas Jamie's guy, now Jamie's a hell of a nice guy, but his, his employees are slow as hell. So it took them weeks and weeks to do just a little bit. And I did it all in a couple of few days because I don't take breaks and I just work. Whereas they would take smoke breaks all the time, like about every half hour, 45 minutes. They're out, you know, chit-chatting and smoking and, you know, leaving the machines idle. And I'm paying for all that time. So, and look who's awake. Look who's awake. My little sweetie girl who's trying to hide her identity now. Little Rachel is now living up here. Come on, Rachel. Say hello. No. Was it too early for you? Yeah. Oh, poor baby. Oh. So, come on. I'm gonna go get so, one. by the way, it's December 28th. It's about 9.40, 9.45 in the morning, 41 degrees out. <laughs> My skid steer is gone. <laughs> um, they're going to come and take the uh, excavator in a little bit, which is just as well. I don't like using that excavator. I've run it a few times. Um, and, uh, I mean, I know what the controls do, but... It takes time to get that coordination going. And uh, the skid steer, I'm just zipping around on doing what I need to do. But not that cat. Not the, not the excavator. So, anyway, uh, that's it for now. Oh, wait. Let me tell you about the time I got the skid steer stuck. <laughs> Both times. <laughs> so, the first time, <clears throat> right here where the well is. You remember the trench that was here? So we filled that trench in, threw gravel in there, filled it in, you know, packed it down really good. And I ran the skid steer over it a bunch of times, you know. Well, when it rained, it became slosh. So I was running the skid steer, trying to clean it up, you know, just back and forth. And then I ran it because I was going, you know, this way and that way and trying to clean it up and then i was getting in there and i was backing up and the tread fell thump, like that probably about that angle okay oh my god it was like eight hours 
to dig that thing out. Yeah. And it was, oh, it was a mess. And then the second time, I was down near the end of the driveway. And uh, between, here's my driveway and there's the road. So I was out in that area back, you can't really see it right here, but it's like down there a little bit. And uh, got us stuck again. And then I used the cat, or the, they were both cats. I used the excavator to try to dig it out. And with all the power of that excavator, I was not digging that out. It was just pulling and pulling and I broke my chain and tried to pull it out. It was a mess. So what I did is I went, took the excavator, went down on the road, came back from behind, and I, let me see if I can get my hands right, and I dug it out, dug out the, the hill and got the, the little trees and stuff and the, the rocks out of the way and dug a nice ramp. And then I just jumped in the excavator and just backed it out. Just and then came back up. So I'm getting good at getting it stuck. <laughs> so I'll talk to you after a while. See ya. Bye. I just don't know what I'm going to do with my time now. Everything's on static hold. Nothing can move until either I get my new machine or until a new company comes in and handles it, but that won't be till the end of January. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm lonely. I can't work. Maybe I'll go with Tamales and, and flirt with my girlfriends. That's an idea. So remember the story that I told you about getting the cat stuck the second time? That right there is where it was. And then I came down on this road with the large excavator and scraped all this down so, so I could just back it down. And that's what I did. See ya.